Welcome again to Joe Stoner Boxing. There was a very entertaining um, women's unified minimum weight world title uh, between the long established champion Yacosta Vale and the challenger Maria Santizo. Now, in case you don't know about Yacosta Vale, or Yoka as she prefers to be called, she's 31 years old, she's from Costa Rica. This was the eighth defence of her IBF belt and the second of her WBO belt. <clears throat> and uh, she's five foot four, as you would expect, quite a diminutive lady for a minimum weight, of course. Only 105 pounds, the minimum weight division. But uh, she's she's very well known in Costa Rica. Um, the, apparently, according to the commentators, the president of Costa Rica always sends her a good luck message uh, before each fight. And... Um, She's just very, very popular. And when you consider, uh, you know, the sort of rather, the sort of dearth of talent in women's boxing, um, there aren't that many, you know, really, really elite level women's fighters, although the, the sport is growing. I don't mean that disparagingly. <clears throat> if you've watched this channel before, you'll know that, that we support women's boxing. But Yacosta Vale, she's pretty much a veteran because she's got 29 wins with nine KOs, two defeats, both of those defeats um, are on points, uh, and they were back-to-back -back in 2017-2018. Um, Tina Ruprecht outpointed her over 10. Uh, that was uh, for an interim, WBC interim minimum, minimum weight title. And prior to that, she was over in Japan getting beaten by um, Naoka uh, Fujoka, who I don't know much about. I don't know much about that. I've seen Ruprecht before, but not uh, Fujoka. Uh, but those two back-to-back -back defeats... Um, you know, five, six years ago. Clearly she learned from them. I know, I know that I sound like a broken record when I talk about defeats, but they don't, they don't bother me as long as someone learns from them, from them and turns the negatives into positives. And that's clearly what she's done. And she's become a very established uh, female champion. Now, <clears throat> Maria Santizo, 38 years old from Guatemala, only five foot one, uh, which is really odd because... Yacosta uh, uh, Vale is listed at 5'4", and Maria's listed at 5'1", and yet in the ring, I would have sworn Maria was two inches taller than Vale. But all right, we'll, I'll go by box rec, which is never entirely reliable, but here we go. Um, she had lost her last fight over eight rounds to uh, Gabriela Fundora, who was undefeated. That was, in, that was only in April of this year. So she got this sort of voluntary defence from Vale, and she certainly didn't disgrace herself. In fact, she no, I should mention that she lost two of her last three because she lost an eight-rounder to Ab, um, Annabelle Ortiz. That was in 2022. So this was a real golden opportunity out of the blue, a voluntary defence by Vale. And I have to say, Santizo did not disgrace herself. Because although, I mean, two of the judges, I think, had it, I uh, might have this wrong, I think it was 99-91 from two of them, and then 100 to 90. I thought that was a little unkind on Santizo, because although Vale clearly won most of the rounds, I gave Santizo two rounds, uh, the first, and then I can't remember the other one, it was later on in the fight, I think, there were, in the seventh round there was a clash of heads, and um, Santizo was, was okay, Vale had a, a slight nick on her nose, uh, the bridge of her nose that is, and I think that round, it, she was a little bit discombobulated, so Santizo... Uh, definitely, I thought, you know, won, won the round anyway. It wasn't by much, but I thought she definitely won that round. But for most of the fight, and if you've ever seen Vale before, she is very exciting because she will trundle forward throwing these huge, compact hooks. She makes herself very, very small. She's got kind of a low centre of gravity, powerful looking legs, and she will just fire hooks. And, you know, the overhand right comes, up, comes in sometimes. But if you're hoping to see a lot of jabs, look elsewhere because you ain't going to get it off Yoko Vale. Um, and to be honest with you, Maria Santizo had a quite a similar style, but she just couldn't outwork Vale, and she could she couldn't get on the back foot, she couldn't work the jab, she couldn't find a rhythm. They're two minute rounds, which always favours the more frenetic style. And I thought that um, Vale quite simply outworked Santizo. Now she only hurt her badly once. I say badly; it wasn't like she floored her or the girl was hanging on for dear life. But at the start of the sixth round, there was a really enormous left hook. <clears throat> and Vale will work both levers. She'll, there'll be hooks coming all over the place. 
she, I think she landed her right hand, which sort of clipped Santizo, and she came back with a huge left hook, which definitely shook Santizo and sent her sort of tottering backwards to the ropes. But to her credit, she soaked it up, came back, and, um, and you know, she made Vale work, especially with the clash of heads and the cut. Vale had to work. But she clearly, she clearly won the fight on just pure industry, pure, pure output. Um, and this is an exciting lady to watch, Yoko Vale. As far as Maria Santizo is concerned, at 38 years old, she now drops to 11 wins with six KOs, which is quite a high, quite a high percentage of, of knockouts. Although her, her um, the quality of her opposition of her opposition is nowhere near as good as Yoko Vale's. She's got four defeats now, 11 wins, four defeats. Maria, um, three in her last uh, five five fights. I think it's three in her last five fights. Um, and at 38, you're going to have to wonder, well. I don't know. Is this uh, is this really you know? Maybe it's time to hang up. I don't know. I mean, with with the women, especially especially at the really low weights, opportunities do arise. I mean, she got this she got this opportunity off the back of losing two of her last three. So you just never know. It depends, you know, whether she wants to carry on. And I don't know how popular women's boxing is in Guatemala. Um, clearly, Vale is making strides in Costa Rica for the women, but you just. You just never know. I mean, some women, they get multiple opportunities because there is a dearth of talent. But if you if you uh, haven't seen this fight, it is worth looking at. It's entertaining. It was on DAZN. Uh, it was on the undercard of the Zapata Gesta fight. Uh, go and have a look at it. Ten two-minute rounds, zips by. It's only 20 minutes of boxing. And I think you'll be entertained. All right. So leave your comments below if you've got any. If you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. I'll be grateful for that. This is your channel as much as mine. I like doing the videos, but without you lot, what's the point? You know, I'm, I'm whistling in an echo chamber, aren't I? All right, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot and bye for now.